Dave McHugh once again here in Holland, Michigan, and I'm now joined by the most outstanding player of the 2012-13 National Championship Tournament, Ellie Pearson from uh, DePaul and the Champs. First and foremost, congratulations on the national title, and secondly, congratulations on the, the honor. Thank you. <laughs> uh, in your wildest dreams, let's be honest, in your wildest dreams, could you imagine an undefeated season? Could you imagine a national championship? Could you imagine getting the honor of being the most outstanding player of that tournament? No, it's, it's, I mean, even having one of those alone, but having all three of the things mm -hmm. you just mentioned is like just a dream come true. I'm so happy and so proud of my teammates, and I just, I feel like I'm in a dream. <laughs> we talked about uh, after the Williams game, you guys came out maybe a little sluggish, a little mm -hmm. rusty, not necessarily, but just not exactly in sync and on cylinders. Yay point run to get back into it and, and trail by one at the half certainly was a key. And then you had a tough battle with them all yeah. the way to the end. T the championship game, completely different. You guys came out on a tear yeah. and really kind of made your presence known. Yeah. What was the difference in the mentality? Um, you know, I don't know. Well, I guess mentality is a good word. Yeah, I think um, the first game of the Final Four, you know, it's it's – it's bigger, it's on a bigger stage, it's brighter lights, louder music, more people. Um, so I just think that the adrenaline and the excitement and the environment got to us a little bit in the first in the first game. Um, and then I think tonight we were just a little bit, we had our jitters under control. Um, we were very composed and we're just a really hungry team. We have worked so hard for this and it was ours to take and um, we were not backing down. So I think that was definitely more aggressive mentality. <laughs> You knew Whitewater had the capabilities of coming back. You saw what they Absolutely. did against Amherst, you know, coming back from 12 back in the semifinals to eventually win that in overtime. So what did you have to keep reminding yourselves as the, as the lead got bigger but then would sometimes shrink and then would get bigger again? What were you telling yourselves in the huddle? What were you telling yourselves out on the court? I think um, just reminding our teammates why we are where we are and why we have that lead. And usually the, those reasons are ball pressure, rebounding, great defense, um, hitting free throws. I mean, just those basic fundamentals. Um, if you can just win each possession, um, I, I think that, yeah, I mean, we're a pretty celebratory team, but um, we're pretty focused for each possession. So I think that's it. Of course, a great way to finish out your career undefeated season. Um, it, 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 you're literally ending on the best possible note. <laughs> Is anything going to be able to live up for this, at least in the next few weeks? I doubt, but down the road. I don't know. I think uh, I'm thinking I peaked. Yeah. No. We're done. <laughs> We're done. I'm good to go. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I mean, this was, I will remember this night forever. Um, and it's just, I mean, I think of when I was like third grade playing basketball for the first time, and now I'm standing here, um, and all those years and hard work and players and coaches along the way, it's just, it all. It's really beautiful how it all just comes together. Of course, you didn't come out of this unscathed. You know, at least <laughs> yeah. a bruise, if not worse, on your finger. Yeah. A shooting hand, nonetheless, either. That's right. That's right. Uh, maybe I'll go right now, but it's too late. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I think it's broken, but um, we'll, we'll figure it out. I, I don't care. <laughs> you, you know Hope well. You've talked about this uh, several times. Your brother plays baseball here. Of course, he can't be here. He's I down at spring training. Yeah. Or, or spring baseball, yes. we should say, down in Florida. Uh -huh. But at the same time, not that far from your home, what's it like to basically win? in the backyard of where you grew up playing? Um, well, I mean, we have to go around Lake Michigan. Yeah, you have to go around the lake. That's a minor detail. <laughs> yeah, it's a, just a minor, minor lake. It actually just takes a, a nice small ferry. lake. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, uh, it's it's great. I mean, the Midwest is, is where it's at. Um, and, yeah, the, the fans were, were incredible. And um, I actually have a couple of friends that do go to Whitewater, so they were there tonight. So I got to see a couple of them, <laughs> high, old high school friends. They're not your friends anymore. Um, yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, just, just just to be here with everybody, I, yeah, it's, it's great that it's where it is. Coach Huffman will not take credit. You <laughs> seniors have certainly tried to, to put credit towards her. If you had a chance to put her, uh, sit her down and say something, what, what would it be about her and the program she's built? I mean, I think I would just give her a hug and just tell her thank you for all those practices that she was just so hard on us, and we wanted to just give up and just – I mean, she was so hard on us this year, and I can now see why. And it's and um, she just she is so selfless um, and just only wants the best for us. And even if she's, you know, being a total hard ass, you just if you just if you know her how we know her, which is she wants the best for the team. It just makes it tolerable. <laughs> you and the senior class leaving if you get a chance 
to talk to this team, what the last things you would say, or if you see them at the beginning of next year, what would be the one thing you're going to try and instill to them to obviously maybe not achieve an undefeated season, but possibly make another run for a championship, or at least what to remember from this year to help them move forward? Yeah, I mean, I think I, think I would just tell them that um, it's kind of our theme this year has just been this motto of all it takes is all you've got, which mm -hmm. sounds really simple, but... Um, if you really break it down and, and go to all those, you know, uh, intense track workouts over the lunch hour, um, 7 a.m., plyometrics, agility work, um, getting in the gym for extra shots, lifting more, getting in the weight room, um, working your butt off in practice, just just the, the little things can go a long way. So I think that's, I mean, just continue with the work ethic that this tradition um, instills. Now that the basketball career technically technically is over. I know it hasn't sunk in just yet. What's the future? What's the next step for you? Oh, Lord. Um, <laughs> I know it's not an easy answer. I'm going uh, to the WNBA. Very now. nice. <laughs> very <laughs> nice. Congratulations. <laughs> no. Um, uh, future. Future. Okay. Um, I'm, a major, I'm majoring in political science, so I'm kind of telling people maybe law school. Okay. Um, not for a couple years. I think I want to get out and get a job and do a little work experience. That's that's where I don't, <laughs> and that's where I'm going to stop. So understand. <laughs> um, yeah, if you're looking for uh, an intern, like, <laughs> yeah, very nice. um, yeah, no, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do, but uh, I've been a little preoccupied with the team, sure. so um, I'm not worried about it. I'm exploring my options, and I've. I think I can do something. <laughs> We're not talking that far removed from winning the title. That's right. That's um, right. So as a result, I asked Coach Hoffman this as well. Has it sunk in yet? When do you think you're going to either wake up or roll over or kind of be sitting in a class and it's going to dawn on you? 34-0, and 0, record for the most wins in Division Three for a women's basketball team or overall and a national championship. I couldn't tell you when that's going to set in. Um, it's just I feel like I'm in a dream. Um, I, I know I said that earlier. Uh, I just feel like I'm going to wake up at any moment and just it's going to be, you know, your usual Monday morning or something. Yeah. So um, I'm not sure when it'll set in. Uh, I just I'm just so happy and thankful at this moment. So I guess it's starting to. <laughs> when do you th what do you think the reaction is going to be back on campus? Um, you know, the campus was buzzed these past all of postseason. So I'm, I'm sure it'll be pretty rowdy and uh, we've got a great school spirit. Um, I think it'll be it'll be a fun to, to drive home tomorrow and see all of it. Ellie Pearson, the most outstanding player of the national tournament, and of course, national champion as well. As you heard, as always, we give the guests the final word. Any final thoughts you want to share with those who may be watching? Um, just, I, I, it's cliche, but I guess just thank you for um, coming to the games and supporting and coaching and just thank you for supporting us. <laughs> Very good. Her future, she doesn't know, but she's at least got a championship she can put on her resume. And uh, we'll have more from Holland later.